Welcome. This is 49H4 and this is energy stored in a charged parallel plate capacitor. So, so the process of charging up a capacitor involves, well, it's a, uh, um, as the charge builds, so we get more and more potential difference across the plates of the capacitor and uh, so the, the actual charge it's the actual um, trace itself is a is a linear trace and it forms a triangle now if I look at the units I know that Delta V is joules per coulomb and I know that my charge is measured in coulombs and so if I take uh, uh, the uh, um, joules per coulomb and multiply it by coulombs, I get joules. And that is in a very shorthand way tells me that the area under the graph is equal to the joules, is equal to the energy stored in uh, this device as it charges up. And I know the equation for a triangle is a half the base times the height. And so I can very easily get this equation here, half Q delta V. Um, I can also do it by using calculus. I can say, consider charging up a capacitor as the charge increases, the potential difference between the plates increases. Consider an instant where the charge on the capacitor is Q. The associated potential difference is delta V is equal to Q over C. The work required to transfer a little bit of charge DQ uh, uh, across the capacitor a little bit of work is equal to delta v delta q which equals q over c dq total work required to charge up the capacitor from zero to big q is the area under the delta v versus q graph work is equal to the integral from zero to big q of q over c dq take you uh, capacitance out because it's a constant 1 over C integral from little from 0 to big Q little Q DQ uh, yeah a half Q squared over C so that's that one comes most readily out of the calculus and there's a third one so what you do is you either remember all three of them or you remember one of them and you use the fact that C is equal to Q over Delta V so for instance, if I remember a half Q delta V and I don't have Q, then I simply say, well, Q is equal to delta V times C and I substitute in for that Q and I get this guy, a half C delta V squared. And if I don't have the delta V, I substitute and I get one half Q squared over C. If you do a lot of them, you get to remember all three of them. If you do them occasionally, you need to remember one of them and then be able to transfer between them. It's not hard, it's just you've got to be familiar with it. Uh, how much energy is stored in a six farad capacitor? That's a huge capacitor actually. Uh, when it holds five coulombs of charge, so And we have uh, capacitance is equal to 6 farads and Q is equal to 5 coulombs. And I hope you can see, I keep, in my class I emphasize this, C can stand for capacitance and C at times stands for coulombs. And especially when you first begin, it's easy to get these two guys confused. So some people, what they do is they write different types of C for the capacitance and for the unit coulombs to distinguish between them once you've been doing it a long time it doesn't matter you, you know the context but watch out for that at the beginning when you look at a question and you see a C one day you interpret that as a as a measure of coulombs and another day you interpret that as a measure of capacitance that's a problem you got to be you got to know what the C stands for and I say, well, let's have a look. My energy is equal to half Q delta V. Okay. 
So what do I have? I have my Q, but I don't have my delta V. So I'm going to say, oh, C is equal to Q over delta V. So I'm going to say U is equal to one half Q. And then rather than having that delta V, I have Q over C. Let me just swap over. So this means that I have a half. I have my Q, which is five. I have my five over uh, my C is six. So U is gonna equal uh, 25 over 12. which is going to equal, uh, let's have a look, that's going to be uh, 2.1. So there we have that. And then secondly, how much energy is stored when nine farad capacitor is fully charged by four volt battery? So again, we visualize and I have nine farad capacitor equals nine farads. The list really does help me in my delta V. It makes me write down my parameters and I put down my numerical values and I put down my units and it just sorts me out. And then I say, well, U is equal to one half Q delta V. Which one do I have? I have my delta V, but I don't have a, a Q, okay. So then I'm going to turn around and say, okay, well, C is equal to Q over delta V. So U is going to be one half. I need to get rid of that Q. Q is equal to C delta V times delta V. So U is equal to one half times nine times four times four which equals, uh, let's have a look, it's going to be uh, 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 basically uh, four times nine, three nines are 27, four nines are 36, 36 joules. So there we have it.